Jim Scollins. I'm Senior Director of Retail Operations. I oversee all of the, our uh, pro shop and in-stadium retail efforts. This building is our retail warehouse. It, it's where all the product that we purchase is received, counted in, gets price labeled or prepped to be sold. Some of it goes to our, uh, our vendor that sells in stadium at all the locker room stands around the stadium. Some of it goes to the pro shop store or the pro shop collection store in Patriot Place. So tell us a little bit about this rack that you were standing in front of. These are jerseys that we use in our, our game worn business. So we take jerseys that were previously uh, in locker room storage or in the locker room itself and we sell them on eBay, sometimes in the store. This was how much we'll sell between now and the end of the year. We first started to sell the Game Worn and Team Issue jerseys in 2014. So it's been about six years of selling and we have uh, jerseys from five different decades. We try to have a mix of years, try to have a mix of colors and styles and patches and players and price points that we think it would sell for. Game Worn is something that we can verify was actually worn by a player in a game. Our former equipment manager, Don Brocher, who was here for, from the 70s up until the 2000s, I spent a lot of time with him when we first got all this inventory and talking about how I can tell and what to look for. A team issued is the jersey's basically in perfect, pr pristine condition. All players have multiple jerseys every season. So even, even like Super Bowl, they'll have the jersey they're wearing in the game, but there'll be a backup jersey. Trey Flowers is a D lineman. If he wore this in the game, there'd be marks. Like there'd be helmet marks, impact marks. And a game worn jersey would be one that has clear damage. This is Corey Dillon's 06 jersey. There's a, a stain here, there's a repair. So you can see what they look like from the inside. They take a piece of fabric and it gets sewn on to replace a hole. If there's a hole or a tear, something like that. One of my personal favorites would be this one. This is Ben Coach jersey. It's banged up. He was a real bruiser. He's one of the more uh, underrated Patriots of all time, in my opinion. It's clear he wore this in some big games and as one of my favorite players, look, there's a, there's a big tear right here that had to be fixed. It's probably three, four inches long. So in 1998, they, they used this, this label inside the jersey, which is marked 1998 season set two. It was a company called Custom Crafted. Before that, they, from 95 to 97, they stamped them on the inside. This is a stamp in, on the inside here. This is 1996, set two. The styles changed a lot over the years. Just in the 90s, you had the original throwbacks, 91, 92, two different jerseys. 93 was different, 94 was different, then 95 through 98, and then the 99. Six different jerseys um, in, in a decade. Here's a Drew Bledsoe game-worn jersey. This is from 1998, which is pretty cool. In regards to like the 90s jerseys, what makes those so popular? I think it's when a lot of people first became big Patriot fans. You know, a lot of the guys that I've dealt with and met were kids in the 90s and are now are grown and have jobs and can afford to buy a few jerseys of their heroes. And then in 2000, it changed to the, the Navy design. And the Navy design was pretty much the same from 2000 all the way up until 2012 when the jersey, the design stayed the same, but the manufacturer changed from Reebok to Nike. Just in the last 20 years, there's been a handful of, or more of different designs and different styles. You have things in there like the 09 patches where there's two different versions of. You have MHK in 2011. You have silver. So you have multiple variety in the last 20 years. And then you have the, the, when the color rush started. This jersey is from 1972. You can tell they wore the old snaps. It's a game worn jersey with some repairs, old school. So these are really rare. We don't have a ton of 1972 jerseys. And they're all unique. I mean, just, it may not look that unique as you go, but like I said, if you, if you realize that these two are so different, this is 1972, this is 2009. We have a few, you know, sort of just weird stuff that shows up because it comes from locker room storage. That's Corey Dillon's practice jersey from one of the Pro Bowl years. Here's a, here's a Drew Bledsoe practice jersey from a, uh, from a Pro Bowl. He autographed it. 
There's a really robust collector's market of probably a couple hundred active collectors. There's a lot of different variables that, that make someone want to pull the trigger on buying, you know. And it could be that they don't have a, an 09 jersey with one of the patches, or they don't have a silver. There's also collectors that want um, players from certain colleges. There's an active collector that wants all the Ohio State guys. Just knowing something was worn in a Super Bowl or worn in a real game or worn by someone who's now in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, to have that in your hands is, is a unique experience. What else are you going to do with these but put them in the hands of someone who would appreciate and respect them? The Hall gets what they need, so we're preserving the history in the Hall. But what happens to the rest of it? The hundreds of jerseys over decades, what do you do with them? And it's just, it's kind of fun to know that you're putting them in the hands of someone who genuinely appreciates it and cherishes it. Um, that, that's, that, that sort of makes it worthwhile to tell you the truth. Do you know what the highest selling item that you've ever sold is? Yep, that's uh, in December of 2018, we sold a 2013 Edelman jersey that went for just under $8,000. Game worn Navy jersey that Edelman wore. It's been a handful that have gone over 5,000, but again, the average is about 500. The best way to get involved and, start and get your hands on some of these jerseys would be go on eBay. We have a lot of things on there, game worn team issue jerseys, pants, sometimes helmets, football, some autograph stuff. But the best way is uh, to hop on eBay and uh, look, for, look for us there.